AKA Patterns, it's time to talk about something that's just bugging the living hell out of me. If you're a comic book creator and you like action figures, this is the one for you. Talking about today, aka Patters. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, this one's been uh, it's been bugging me for such a long time. But Peter A. DeLuca here, aka Pad69, and known throughout the multiverse and Philadelphia, PA, as the eclectic one. Let me just show you this off real quick. Guys, can you guys see this? This is the fire from Canada. And we're, 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 we're up there. We're like, you know, in the clouds ourselves. But anyway, dreary air quality. Uh, you know, I was even, I, last night at the Phil's game, the air, the, you know, whatever that is that's happening up north came right through uh, the uh, Phil's game. And it's just so weird and eerie. But moving on. All right, so as I've been talking to you guys, you know, I, I put up this picture. I'm not calling out this uh, creator, but but by the creation, some of you guys might be able to reverse engineer who it is. This is before we go further. I this is not a attack on anyone in particular. This is just something I I see too much of. And what is it? It's the idea. I mean, number one, I think some of the people that that make action figures. In related to their own comic, they're also the people that run around calling themselves creatives. Uh, I don't know what that even means. I, I, you gotta be perfectly straight, perfectly honest. If someone tells me that they're a creative, I kind of, I think that they're just messing with me because I don't know what, I don't know what it is. Uh, what, what do you do? Oh, I'm a creative. Uh, okay, so. But part of this, it's like this idea that every time you, you create something, uh, you, you immediately become a George Lucas, a Jim Henson, even a Steve Jobs, a, a Walt Disney, right? What we need from you, if you're trying to create a comic book and you you want that audience and you want that bank, you have to create a good book and it needs to be regular and it needs to be obsessive and it needs to have multiple and multiple and multiple issues uh, all while growing a social media presence. You reverse engineering what we might call the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle effect is meaningless because what will hold it all up and the cheapest of all of these things to produce is a comic book. You don't get any cheaper when it comes to entertainment other than producing a comic book. That, you know, a potential property. I, I even, it just annoys me when people even use the term IP. Like, what the hell is that? What, is, what does that mean? But yeah, so, don't. Do action figures. Resist the urge of thinking you're the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Keep in mind, the Turtles even back in the day, those original Playmates, soft heads or hard heads, they were a huge bet. The cartoon a huge bet. Even the live action movie, I'm going like the original, huge bet. No one was really convinced until way later that the turtles were the turtles. The point I'm getting at is if you're focused on creating great comic books and you're obsessive about it and you sacrifice everything, even your health, even your girls, even your family, if you sacrifice everything to know your craft and because you are obsessive about your craft, you can gain insight into your audience to produce that product for. Most of you people out there 
trying to do these things, okay? You, you're acting like you know your audience and you don't, okay? Your audience doesn't want an action figure. They don't. They want good comics. Good comics first. Everything else comes later. It's almost like what, what Al Pacino, what Scarface says in Scarface when they're talking about girls and, and all this other stuff. It's, it's somewhat early in the movie. And, he, and uh, Al Pacino says, let's get the money now. Because the girls and everything else is going to come later. That's the lesson here. Resist the urge. Resist the time. The time alone I see people wasting on their own action figures is insane. Uh, even semi-popular crowdfunding campaigns. Back off of the action figures. And put that time and money into more of the comic. People... It's just anyway, bugging me here. I, I, I have a feeling we're gonna get some some feedback from this video video, but thanks for hanging out with me, aka Pat. I'm just getting things off my chest. But this is I feel like this is solid advice. You, you some of you people have to hear it. Don't do this. Subscribe, support, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, rock and roll. Spy. He leaps into battle with the most pulverizing arsenal of power you've ever seen. Spy. With weapons beyond your wildest imagination. The vicious vandalizer.